Hi guys! In today's video, I want to discuss art block, partially because I really suffered with it this week, and I suppose it can be an uncommon opinion in the realm of art YouTube, but I do think it exists. Is it some evil supernatural force preventing you from creating art? Sure isn't, but there are definitely a few reasons why people can suffer from art block. These are my experiences and opinions, and I'm open to hearing from others on their own experiences with art block. Feel free to comment down below to discuss with me, or you can find me on my social medias linked in the description box. Personally, I've been drawing for a while now, so I've sort of gone through the whole gamut with art block. I'm super talented at procrastinating when I should be drawing too, which is different from art block in a way, but I'll get into that. So, as a bit of a disclaimer, art block is often a symptom of mental illness. If you are experiencing other symptoms of depression or any mental illness, please try to talk to someone. It's incredibly important not to let yourself be alone in dealing with your problems. Also, if you feel your struggle might be due to mental illness, don't push yourself to make art and add more stress on yourself. Focus on taking care of yourself most of all, and once you're better, you'll be able to focus more on making art. My definition of art block is pretty simple. It is anything related to the mind preventing an artist from creating art. I'm not including physical disability or illness from this definition because I always viewed art block as being related to a mental block. Though, of course, someone with chronic pain or illness can definitely be affected mentally and suffer from art block as well. Personally, I consider art block to be caused by one of two things. Too much inspiration or too little inspiration, which in turn have their own causes I will get into as well. I'm sure this sounds ridiculous, but Lei, you must say, how the heck do you have too much inspiration? I'll get to that. So this week's art is kind of simple. It's a basic digital portrait of my drow character Zelik, sort of updating the line art I did for the art with makeup video, which I'll link in the top right corner card thingy if you haven't seen it already. I made art with makeup, it was a whole weird thing. Anyway, the portrait serves as a couple of purposes. I felt I needed to experiment with shading and coloring since it's an area I know I need help in. I've worked on a couple watercolor pieces lately that I feel would have benefited if I'd been practicing more with values and tones. I also had art block this week, and it wasn't the type of art block where I didn't know what to work on. I have a painting on the go, I have another video related to watercolors in the works, I could digitally paint something else from Inktober last year, or I could draw something new. I have so many options, and that was my issue. I felt overwhelmed by everything I felt I needed to finish, and it in turn made me not want to work on anything. And there's other things at play too. I'm currently going through a sort of rough time dealing with seasonal affective disorder and being laid off from work for the winter season, which is very personal to admit, but it's definitely affecting me in my art. I should be producing tons and tons of art right now with all my free time, but instead I feel like everything is too much and like I'd rather hang out on my couch in my PJs and play Stardew Valley instead. Art block isn't just about having a lack of ideas. It can also be having too many ideas and not being able to follow through with them because you don't know where to start. It can be having ideas that you don't feel are good enough. It can be having no ideas because you're out of inspiration or you're a newer inexperienced artist and you don't have that well of inspiration to draw from. And it's fine to experience art block once in a while, but you have to learn to force yourself out of your rut. Sketch, do studies of items around your house, do figure drawings, play around with coloring old line art you have laying around, which is what I did, or color another artist's line work. Anything that gets you creating, because eventually you will fall back into it. This portrait, simple as it is, is something I really enjoyed working on. It felt less stressful than working on watercolor, a medium which I'm not particularly familiar with. I know digital better, and I know I can erase everything and start over with digital if need be. 
Which yes, you can also do with watercolor in that you can redraw your line art on a fresh piece of paper or print your line art again, as I do. I have restarted paintings in the past. But it was nice to experiment in Procreate and remember how much I love that program. It is just everything I've ever wanted in an art program, and it makes me so happy to work in it. Which sounds super fangirly, I know, but even before I upgraded to an Apple Pencil and iPad Pro from my previous Wacom Stylus and iPad Air combo, I loved Procreate. And I guess that's another tip. If you're stuck working on something new or unfamiliar, take a break and go back to what is familiar. Remember what you love about making art, whether it's a particular subject, or a medium, or even a favorite sketchbook. So the last thing I wanted to mention with art blog is that sometimes it really is just procrastination. Sometimes we just want to be lazy and watch TV or play video games instead of creating art. I've totally been down that road. If you're in school or have a day job, chances are you only have so much free time and you need to learn how to budget that free time in order to create art or else you'll never finish anything. My output last year is far below what I would have hoped for myself and that is one of my goals for this year, to try to finish at least one illustration every month. I know it sucks that there's no real cure to art block, but it isn't a disease. It's just a state of mind in relation to art. You can pull yourself out of it. All artists have experienced it or something similar at some point in time. And yeah, it is really hard to overcome, but the longer you let yourself not make art, the harder it will be to get back into it. I actually quit art for almost 10 years once, which I'll get into in another video, but Getting back into it took a couple of years before I really felt like I was back where I was, where I craved making art and needed to make it on a regular basis. I could probably go on about this subject way longer, but I think this sums everything up. Thank you so much for watching, and please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. As I mentioned before, feel free to discuss your thoughts on Art Block down below in the comments. Oh, and of course, please subscribe if you'd like more art videos from me every Friday. Thank you again, and I hope to see you at my next video. Bye!